fictional MI6 agent James Bond has the license to kill, real life agents could soon have one too. According to reports, the United Kingdom could provide its spies and secret service agents the legal protection to commit, quote unquote, necessary crimes. What are those crimes? They haven't spelled that. Our next report has more. Real life British agents are not Bond and they do not have the license to kill. The former boss of MI5 once said, assassination, quote unquote, is not part of the policy of Her Majesty's government. This may soon be history. The United Kingdom is mulling a new law. One that could arm British spies with license to kill and commit necessary crimes. What crimes? The Covert Human Intelligence Sources Bill does not explain. But what justifies this license to kill? Reports say the idea is to take on spies, saboteurs and hackers from countries like Russia, North Korea and Iran. In 2019, a British court ruled that MI5 spies can kill in the line of duty. And they would not be prosecuted. That is, unless they fail to justify the killing. Human rights groups were not happy with this. They said the move could authorize killing on British soil. So are we to believe that spies do not kill at all? Of course they do. Just that the files are brushed under the carpet and most countries do not have laws justifying these killings. In 2018, Australia was mulling, arming its spies with a license to kill. The CIA was given the license to kill after the attacks of 9-11. The poisoning of Sergei and Yulia Skripal in Salisbury in 2018. Wasn't it a case of Russian spies exercising their license to kill? A report says Israel's Mossad has killed more people than the agents of any other country since the Second World War. The number stands at 800 plus. Are these cases of assassination or self-defense? Or are the spies killing people to safeguard their country? The license to kill is often justified with one question. Who will guard the guardians? Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.